Good morning. This is Lisa from Mama Needs Crafts, and I am on to video number five. So, happy Thursday, everybody. Uh, this is Thursday, April 5th, um, and it's my birthday month, and um, so I am trying to stitch every day, though... Okay, full disclosure, not gonna lie, actually it really hasn't happened. I think maybe two of the days out of April so far. And then I kind of had some big plans. Like, I was thinking, I'm gonna take out all my mirrors and do, because uh, my birthday is on the 12th, and so I was like, I'll do 12 days of mirrors. And so, like, one one each day. That also hasn't happened, even though I'm pretty sure that I have more than 12 and they're all kitted up, but, um, or most of them are kitted up. And even if they weren't, I'm pretty sure I have the flosses for anyways, um, because, uh, you know, the name Mama Needs Crafts, yeah, I just completely go overboard on, on my uh, obsessions. That's what I'm going to call it, obsessions. So um, I think in this video today, I'm going to do some shout outs. Um, I have not been able to watch a lot of Floss Tube. Uh, I was really sick um, a couple weekends and um, and was really hibernating. And then, uh, you know, life and things. And so um, I haven't been able to binge watch floss tube as much as I have wanted to, but I do have a couple of shout outs. Um, I'll do like my stash haul stuff, um, my whips, and then I'm going to talk about plans for mania. This is going to be my first mania and, um, and I'm a little excited. I'm a little nervous. And, um, actually I'm a lot nervous and a little freaked out because I think I might have a great plan, but, um, it's going to be implementing that plan, sticking to that plan, and then, um, and then having a lot of whips and then wanting to finish them. And yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, so, okay, so let's do shout outs. Um, so I, I have been watching a couple of newbies. Um, I believe they're newbies. Leah Noel, Leah Noel. I'm going to link everything that I talk about today, hopefully, um, in my com in my, um, description. I figured out how to do it. So yay. <laughs> uh, with some help. Let's not, let's not mention that. So, um, I, I will link that. So I'm, I apologize, Leah, if I didn't get your name correct, but, um, I try. Um, she is new to Floss Tube. I think she only has maybe one, maybe two videos out. I've definitely, I've seen one, obviously. And, um, I don't think that I've seen an update for her. Um, but I could be wrong because again, I have not been able to watch as much Floss Tube, um, in the last few weeks as I've wanted. So, um, she did her, her first video and she shows, um, some of her finishes and she does lovely work. Um, the interesting thing about Leah is that she, um, is becoming a pilot and is taking classes to get her pilot's license. And so, um, congratulations, because I definitely know there are not a lot of women pilots. I have some pilot friends, and of course they're all guys. And, um, and there are not many, uh, women pilots in, in, uh, air flight. So congratulations to you for, um, not only, uh, having that as one of your dreams and goals, but also that you're, you're doing it. So that's fantastic. Um, the second one, I'm sorry, I have to do notes. I'm old. Um, and it's my birthday month and I'm getting older. <sighs> my mother keeps telling me I am not 50 yet, but my mother keeps telling me that 50 is the new 30. 
yeah. Well, as I'm only 35, I'm not really. <laughs> I'm, mm. anyway, okay. Donna Ray from Flannel Jammies Farms. Um, what a lovely lady, Donna Ray. I, I want to be near you. I, I want to be your neighbor. <laughs> okay, here's kind of a funny story. So my 18 year old uh, son, he's my, my last baby. Um, since he was small, he has talked about farming. And now that he is getting older, and uh, he is still interested in farming, and which I find unusual in the younger generation because a lot of them are uh, tech or um, go into fields like nursing or um, you know that like along that farming farming is going away or so it seems. And my son has always been thinking that you know with with the generational farmers are aging and um, and many farms are closing uh, or you know being shut down or, or just the younger generation is not um, is not as interested in keeping the family farm and I'm not generalizing at all I'm just saying that 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 seems to be what the the census is um, and you know, a lot of them are, a lot of farms are selling off their, their, uh, farmland to developers and, um, you know, and so the farming community, uh, seems to be, um, dwindling. And so my son, uh, has been thinking that, uh, you know, well, we still have to have food sources and, and, um, would, you know, really like to figure out how to eco farm and, and that kind of thing. And so he has been doing a lot of research within the last two years on homesteading and, um, you know, off the grid farming and, and that kind of thing. And so when I came across Donna Ray and, um, and they are, are off the grid farmers, or I think that's right. Off the grid. Uh, I don't know. I do listen to him, um, but I get confused sometimes, and so, yeah. And so, anyways, I was taking him to school one day, and I was mentioning how I had just watched this wonderful ladies' floss tube video, and that, you know, flannel jammy farms, blah, 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 and he goes, wait, do they, are they beekeepers? And I'm like, yeah. And he is like, I think I've seen some stuff on them. Homesteading, homesteading. She's not off the grid. Homesteading. Sorry, sorry, Donna Ray. Um, if you watch my floss tube, which I'm sure you don't. <laughs> anyway, um, if you do, yay, thank you, because I think you're wonderful. Um, so, anyways, uh, he was like, I think I've either heard of them or um, they're in, you know, the community of homesteaders that I watch. And I was like, yeah, one of her last videos, she was like talking about canning sauerkraut and whatever. And he goes, oh, my God, I know who the homesteaders are who put those videos out. And I'm like, oh, stop it. <laughs> so, anyways, okay, so back to Donna Ray back to Donna Ray. Uh, Donna Ray, go and watch her. I think she's got five, maybe six videos. Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe there's more. Um, maybe eight. I don't, I don't remember. But anyways, she, one of her last videos that I was able to watch, she did an interview with Pat from R&R, oh, wait, wait, R&R Reproductions, um, Fabrics, and on how to iron your fabric. And I just have to tell you, wow, what an interesting uh, interview and and uh, informative. Like, if you have the opportunity, I wish I could remember what number her video was, but she actually says, I think in the description, that it's how to uh, interview with Pat or something like that anyways, um, and how to iron your fabric. Oh my gosh. Um, so I immediately ran out and bought my starch and, and, uh, because you know, all my fabric is wrinkly and, and has creases and things in it. And, 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 uh, 
one that I gave as a gift, I could not get a, a line out of. And I wish I'd had those instructions before because now I know what to do. And so I have nice plushy um, towels to put on my small little ironing board and um, and my, my iron with full of water for steam. And oh my gosh, I am so excited. I am so excited. And so if you have the opportunity, not only are her videos lovely, Donna Ray, um, but, and she does beautiful stitching samplers and, um, and her stitching is just, it's gorgeous. And then, but she's also super informative on other things and she's just lovely. Really, I'd love to be your neighbor. Well, maybe I'd like to live with you. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I would. <laughs> okay, and then um, the last one that I was able to watch, and actually I watched her early this week, I think, um, Victoria's Creative Crafts. And uh, she is out of Georgia. And um, I think, oh, I get, I'm sorry. Uh, again, I'm going to link them so you can go see them and then you'll you'll know for yourself where they're from. But I think she's from Georgia in that area. And a seller. Yeah. Yeah. And so anyway, um, she does lots of crafts and she is like my spirit person because her craft room is my craft room. She has, you know, cards and, and stamping stuff and... Um, and scrapbooking stuff and and ribbons and fabrics and all kinds of good stuff the difference between her and I is she can sew I cannot I want to be able to I can't do it I don't know if I ever explained in one of my last videos but my home ec teacher we had to do in in middle school I don't even think that they do this anymore but in junior high uh, we had to take home ec and one of the classes in home ec besides cooking and um, and uh, carrying your bag of flour as your baby was um, sewing we had to do a sewing unit and so I picked out you know a pattern and and some really nice fabric and um, you know got my bobbins done and we had our sewing machines and let's just say that it was a disaster of epic proportions epic like I'm pretty sure I broke the sewing machine like irrevocably irrevoc yeah whatever irrevocably oh, I'm just gonna stop while I'm ahead um anyways broke the thing and uh <laughs> and my home ec teacher kind of deemed me um she kind of pulled me aside and said that uh, that between my sewing prowess and my cooking and my shopping knowledge, I was going to make a horrible wife one day. <laughs> yes, she did. She did honestly say that. Woo. Um, falling items. Um, so anyway, needless to say, I don't think I was a horrible wife, not a horrible mother. I just can't sew whatever home ec teacher, I don't even remember her name, but she was really mean to me. <laughs> and I'm a little scarred about st sewing forever. I'm not really. I bought a sewing machine like a couple of years thinking, oh, I would do some like really basic, you know, um, receiving blankets and that kind of thing when my gra my granddaughter came along and it stayed in a box of course it did and um, I sold it on offer up like a, a year ago maybe and the lady who bought it was thrilled because <sighs> it was new in its box still for half the price of what I paid for it because yeah it had to go and now I'm kind of regretting that a little bit because now I'm kind of like, ooh, after I've been watching, like, uh, Yvonne and, and everybody, like, make their pretty finishes and stuff, I'm like, dang it, maybe I could have done that. But 
Really, I'm not even going to kid myself. How, okay, so back to so uh, Victoria's creative crafts. She is a creative, no, no question. The lady has Victoria. You have beautiful stuff, and um, I am envious of your craft room because it is beautifully organized and lovely. And um, I wish mine looked as good. Actually, I wish I really had a room room that um, was just all mine. Um, that I, but uh, no. Instead, I'm have parts of parts of rooms. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Anyways, so if you have an opportunity, John Ray at Flannel Jammy Farms, um, Leah Noel, just Leah Noel, and um, Victoria's Creative Crafts. Awesome floss tubes. And then um, I was able to watch, like I watched Bendy Stitchy and caught up. Um, on, on a couple of those, um, Pam and staff caught up on a couple of those, Chelsea and, and, um, Priscilla. Oh, that was, it's my birthday month. What can I say? Um, so, you know, I just kind of have very quickly binge watched, uh, their latest videos, but, um, I haven't been able to go back and watch like some of the older ones. So, or previous ones. So. There's that. Okay. Um, how about whips? Whips. I was working on a couple. This one I know I have I have um, showed a couple of times. Well, every video, every floss tube that I think I've had, I've showed this one. So I am. Where's a picture of this one? Sorry, un momento. Oh, here it is. Um, I, so this is a design works by Joan Elliott, and it's Welcome Friends, um, Irish, Irish Welcome Friends. And um, I have to admit, I'm a little frustrated, and this is more at myself, because, let me get the thread out of there. Um, I made a boo-boo. So here it is. And I actually was going great guns on it for quite some time. But over here, all this green, all this green here, it is, oh, sorry, notification. It is the wrong stinking color green. So as I was looking at it, and I was like, huh, I was about to put the, the in color, you know, inside, because that's the outline, that's the outline, and then there's a green that goes in there. And as I started doing it, I'm like, wait a minute, that's the same color. And I'm like, that can't be right. So I go and look, and I look at my pattern, and I look at my thread, you know, which is all on, was on, um, you know, the cards that they just put them on when they kit, kit up. I have since put them in plastic bags because I couldn't take it anymore. I was just like, I, I don't know how I messed it up so badly, but I did. So here are the two greens that are in that thing. Notice how different the color is. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. I did it in this color. It was supposed to be this color. Yeah. So I get to frog that whole entire section, the whole section. I'm going to whine about it a little bit. This whole section, because I'm not a fast stitcher. <laughs> That's the other thing, not a fast stitcher. So I have to frog this whole entire section out. And I was really pleased with myself, too, going along this thing, because... I had been going along really well and I only had to tadpole. I call them tadpoling when I only have to take out, you know, less than 10 stitches. Um, I only had to tadpole very, very little out of this thing. And then I'm going along. <sighs> Urch. So, I don't know. I, I'm 
I'm a little frustrated at myself because it was my fault, clearly. And, um, and so, yeah, I have to do something about that. So, so because I was mad at myself, because I can't be mad at the pattern, right? I mean, I can, but I couldn't. I went on to a different one. And I think that this is one that I probably showed in my very first video as like my stash of my haul. No, my stash, my stash. Uh, so this is another Design Works and it's called Starlet, Marilyn Monroe. And it's by Julie Uland. And um, it's on 18 Ada, and, uh, which is stiffer than a board. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. And um, this is as much as I've gotten done so far. Hee-hee. <laughs> Just this little tiny part. And I started it the other day after I had a migraine and, and uh, for quite a few days. And then I was kind of feeling a little better. And so I went and had a look at my welcome friends pattern and realized what I had done. And was like, er, mm, can't do that anymore. So um, went on to this and... Um, yeah, but it's done in a lot of, um, blacks, black, gray, blacks, one, one black, grays, mostly grays, different shades of grays, and then, um, and then, yeah, no, it is, and then, yeah, different shades of gray, and then, um, anything that's white, in the pattern is just uh, Ada. And so I hope, I think it's going to be kind of an easy, an easy stitch up. So, um, yeah. All right. How about haul? Okay, so everybody has been posting about Hobby Lobby and how they've been, you know, clearancing out their cross stitching. Um, stuff. So I work really close. Like, I mean, two and a half blocks away from a Hobby Lobby. And so I went there with great anticipation to find nothing. And I mean nothing on sale, like nothing. And so I was like, what the hey? And not even in the clearance section, you know. And okay, granted, this store just opened like a month and a half ago in this location, and um, and so you know they're pretty stingy ish on the clearance stuff right now. Um, like they opened just before Valentine's Day, I want to say, and so even the Valentine stuff like didn't really get clearance for. Oops, sorry guys, for a little while, and so. Um, so yeah, and they didn't even have a clearance section when they first opened, they didn't even have an area that was clearanced or anything. And so, um, so it's been slowly like uh, in the back of the store, they've got like a tiny little section that they put their clearance stuff. Um, and it's now starting to grow. So I went on over there to look and I was thinking, well, maybe they, you know, are putting, no, there was nothing. And I went a couple of times because I work really close and, um, no, there was nothing. So I drove out to another one and, uh, and they had like everything was on sale. Right. And so I picked up a bunch of stuff. Of course I did because you know yeah and so let me see here um, I got this Carolina linen DMC Ada um, 14 count it was 247 I am not leaving that there it was the only one too like the only one and then um, there was a bunch of patterns and so I got a Thea with this oh so oh that's a horrible clear uh, the puppy, uh, puppies, and cupcakes. I cannot go wrong with that. And then I was thinking I would do this for my daughter because um, she is very girly. And uh, actually, this would look really awesome in her bathroom. So I was thinking I would do that one. 
and then this cute little farmer's market and I have the little tiny companion pieces that go with this or I think they're companion pieces I bought them a long long time ago and they were in the clearance section a long time ago and they're just small and um, I want to say I have like a carrot and a tomato so uh, I had to buy that one and then whoosh, how cute are these this one and this one I love little gnomes they're adorable well they say they're elves whatever they look like gnomes don't they look like gnomes gnome elves I, I don't know anyways the cool thing about this is that it comes with this thing is actually a frame after you've done the Ada and it, it, this is in 16 count Ada so um I thought that was pretty cool and then um and then I bought a couple of teeny tiny little kits Halloween obviously and then this one was really cute and I'll make this one up for my granddaughter and it should be a fast it should be okay I say it should be fast but I'm not a fast stitcher so hmm, there's that so then um you know, every once in a while I'm like, and then everybody's still posting their hauls and, you know, some people are saying, oh, my Hobby Lobby doesn't have anything or, oh, they finally got it, whatever. So I decided one day on my way home um, just to hop in there and see what they had and whoo, it was on sale. It was on sale. So I, um, and because I'd already bought, oh, sorry. Um, because I had already bought so, um, many kits before, and I had actually more kits than that in my cart, and I actually put them back because I had to smack myself upside the head a little bit and say, Lisa Marie, for the love of Pete, you are never going to be able to stitch all this stuff. <sighs> yeah. Anyway. That did not stop me from going to the next Hobby Lobby and my Hobby Lobby close to me. And I got this! Oh, I was so excited. I was so excited to get this Thea. Um, oh, so excited. American Eagle. What would have made me more excited is if I had been able to find um, the one with the bridge and... Statue of Liberty and all of that. Um, I would have, I would have done a actual dance in the aisle, um, and then two, two teeny tiny little kits. And I'm not gonna, I, I despise. I really do not like these little plastic framey things. They're just, um, they're not me. And so I will find some sort of little frames at the thrift shop if I can, and maybe paint up or do do something. Anyways. Um, and so, but cheap. I mean, one of them was like 50 cents. And so, not even with a coupon can you get it for that. So I was like, yes, I will take that. Thank you. Mm. So while I'm standing there, one of the employees comes by and she's like, how are you? And I'm like, great, how are you? And she's like, did you find everything? And I'm like, yeah. And she goes, why? What's the matter? And I'm like, well, I noticed um, that people have been posting that the scissors are, were all on sale. And I think that they were at the other store that I was at, but I missed them. And there weren't any left. And, um, and so, yeah. And she's like, oh, well, which scissors? And I'm like, oh, those little ones that are up there, you know, along the top. And she's like... Oh, you know, I have worked for Hobby Lobby for six years and I've never seen, you know, that they've actually put scissors on sale. And I'm like, oh, I don't know that they were on sale. I think maybe that they were clearance or something. And she's like, oh, were they in the for the clearance? And I'm like, I think so. And she goes, well, let me check. And she pulls out her little flyer, paper flyer, and starts with rummaging through. And she goes, oh, yes, there are some. And she's like, let me have a look. And she hikes herself up onto the little stool there and she starts looking and she's like well this one here and I'm like yes please and she's like would you like that and I'm like yes please and she goes and it looks like this one here how about that one and I'm like yes please so after four yes pleases I got four little scissors and she's like oh well let me take them down for you and and I'll mark them and they're yours and I'm like <laughs> yay 
so happy dance me because um I not only do I always kind of lose my scissors some tiny little person also takes my scissors and then also some big people take my scissors and so um having a pair of scissors in each project bag okay I'm not even gonna kid myself I'm gonna need 28 pairs of scissors for each project bag so, but anyways, at least I have a few more scissors now to, to do that. So it was a good day, the day that I went in because they were just clearancing everything that day. And so I got in at the right time. Nothing was picked over and I got my pick of everything and it was pretty awesome. I could have bought more, but again, I had to smack myself and, and, um, yeah, yeah. And then I went over to my trusty uh, Threadneedle Street store, which is my local LNS and I love. I love the shop owner Denise. I love my shop. Um, it's awesome. And um, I bought a good amount of my floss, my fancy floss, my week's dye works. I have a lot of them. There's a lot. Um, for the Lizzie Cates that all the Lizzie Kate uh, pamphlets that I bought, patterns that I bought. And so, um, you know, so many pretties. And then a couple of the classic color works or yeah, classic color works um, flosses that I needed for the Lizzie Kate's. And then um, while I was there and I was just standing there, I was like, oh, let me have a look at the, you know, she, she cuts Ada, um, the pieces that are left. And so I was like, oh, let me have a look and see what you've got. And she had a piece of this, um, what is it? Christmas red 18 count Ada. And it's an 18 by 18. And I think that this fabric is going to work for the ink circles um, Canada sampler thingy that I showed in my last video um, and I think if I'm right it's the right size and uh, I might do it on this and then do um, white floss in something pretty so um, instead of I had originally actually kitted it up with um, Louisiana, Louisiana, did I do it in Louisiana? Hmm. Louisiana hot sauce. I think I originally kitted it up with that. I don't remember. I didn't look at my last video. I don't remember. And of course it's in a bag over there somewhere. Because <sighs> why would I have it done? And then I'd also bought some uh, fabric for it and was thinking that I would, you know, just do it in that but then I saw this red and I was like ooh red and white which is our flag colors and um so anyways now I have two options and and um we'll see we'll see uh I think it's going to be one of my mania starts and so I'll get to that in a second and then um fabrics by LJ had a and I belong to fabric by LJ's uh, Fabric of the Month Club. And um, and then every, almost every Sunday, he does a sale um, or puts up fabrics uh, that he has dyed and um, when you're part of his group to buy. And so anyways, he was having like a big sale on on fabrics that had already been posted and hadn't sold yet and so I went and did the happy dance and bought a lot and so um and I know you're totally interested and you totally want to see all my fabrics yes you do because they're beautiful and you know the thing that I really like about um, fabrics by LJ is all of the edges are finished uh, the fabric is super soft like it's it's truly really soft and um, This one is like I I belong to the 16 count Ada fabric of the month club and um, I can still see the holes like 
I can still see the holes without a magnifying glass. I mean, I could probably see it much better without, but I'm not like totally, you know, straining my eyes to, to figure it out. But anyways, um, his dye jobs are beautiful. They're really lovely. And honestly, I don't think that the fabrics are that expensive, you know, including shipping. And so, um, yeah. So anyways, this one here is called ecto ectoplasm. Ghostbusters. <laughs> um, and it's really, it's a lovely green and I actually bought two of them. Um, and I think that one of my, um, one of my, uh, mirror mermaids will look lovely on this. I keep saying that this will look lovely. I haven't put anything together. I really need to. I really need to. Um, and this one here, it's another green one. I really like green. I, which is funny because, I mean, I do like green, but I didn't really want a whole bunch of green fabrics and stuff, but I, I, I guess I do. This one is called Fell Magic and it's just gorgeous. Like the modeling in it. Oh, seriously, the dye jobs are just... I, I just really like him and not only that but he's super personable and um, and he's very he's a lovely man a lovely lovely man and so I um, and I love supporting so so that was two I think I bought like seven I don't know it, it was it was kind of ugly they were just I was like yes me please me please me please <laughs> uh, this one here is actually a 14 count Ada and um, it is called Granite, and it's got um, like kind of a gray, blue, and purples, and a bit of green, dark green, and um, it's a lovely, and I was thinking, I think I have um, Gypsy Mermaid, is that what she's called? <sighs> I, I don't remember. I have them. Don't remember their names. They're gorgeous. Shipwreck? No, I don't. I don't remember. Anyway, um, so I think that would look. She'd look gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous on that fabric. And then um, this one is a uh, 18 count. Now, it, yes, it's getting a little small. A little small. Gonna have to bring out some magnifiers for this one. Um, but orange. Oh my god okay and my screen is not doing this justice it is 100% not doing it justice this is beautiful it's got yellows and oranges and tans and um, a little bit of um, brown oh you guys it's it's beautiful in real life it's beautiful I don't know what I'm gonna stitch on it yet but it's beautiful and I had to have it and then here's another one. Oh, this one actually looks, it's called Marble Hill. And, um, and it also really, I, the flaw, uh, it's just, it's beautiful. Like it's got some tea. Do you see this? It's like a teal blue, navy blue. I, I don't, I'm horrible at colors. Um, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It even has a, like a little bits of, orange in it like things you wouldn't even expect it's just it's beautiful beautiful thank you Lucas his name's Lucas I really I love being part of your fabric club clearly because I think I have like 30 of your fabrics now and I haven't put anything on any one of them and then here's another one this was all from the sale that I did. Um, this one is called Sandy Orange. And um, again, I don't, my screen is just not doing these justice. There's, it's kind of a beige with um, some tans and very, very light orange, a little teeny tiny bit of yellow, and then some very faint splotches of that teal bluey color. Um, super pretty. So, and then my last one, last one, this one's called Eggplant. 
And um, I, I, I want to say that he must have had like a blue thing going on because it also has like little bits of, of blue in there. Um, but oh my gosh, you got seriously check out his fabric of the month club or check out his floss, floss tube. Um, check out his Facebook. I think it's fabrics by LJ fa uh, Facebook group. And, um, really, I, I can't say enough. His customer service is awesome. His fabrics are awesome. Um, they feel nice. They smell nice. They, um, I can't say that I've stitched on them yet, but, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think that that's it for my whips, my haul, my stash. Oh my goodness, let me see. I did my shout outs. Let me see what else. Again, I'm so sorry, old. Um, whips, stash. Ooh, also, okay, because I was watching Bendy Stitchy's video, Michelle Garrett, and, uh, and Michelle, seriously, we need to meet up. I'm coming to Acorns and Threads. Not this weekend, probably next weekend. <laughs> we need to do a meetup, girl. Um, she was showing these gorgeous, and I do mean gorgeous, flosses from Victoria Motto Sampler. And they have a Floss of the Month Club. I think it's a Floss floss of the month club and um and there's two different clubs one is um primitive and the other one is i don't remember because i didn't do that one i'm horrible i will again link that below um but she showed her last ones i think for march march and uh, so I emailed Nancy Turner, who's the owner of Victoria, Victorian Motto Sampler, and um, emailed her and said, Ooh, I would love to be a part of your floss club, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, Oh, well, would you like, I may have enough flosses for April um, to do a set for you. Would you also like March? And I was like, well, it's my birthday month, so yes, I will totally do both. Yay me! So she was like, okay. And you know what, you guys? I ordered from her, what, Tuesday? They're coming on Friday. I already have a tracking number. They're coming tomorrow. Tomorrow. Nancy, Miss Nancy Turner, your customer service is spectacular and I just have to say being a consumer like I am a total consumer like I'm not even kidding I when I do a when I do a um, project I go all out like when I started scrapbooking I had to have everything and then realize that I was spending so much money that I had to become my own distributor and, um, so, so I could save money and buy more. And then when I started stamping, I did the same thing. And, um, and you know, I would buy from Etsy and, you know, go to Joanne's Michael's Hobby Lobby, whatever was around, um, bought some things off of eBay, you know, that kind of thing. And I will honestly say if your customer service sucks, I'm not coming back. I I won't even give you a second try. Like I I feel that there are so many small businesses and um, shops that um, there's a lot to go around, and that if if the if the customer service is not there for um, your shop, your products, and your business then I kind of wonder why, you know, you're doing it. And um, then why would I spend my money? You know, I work hard for my money as much as you work hard for your business. And so, um, so 
Okay, that was my small little soapbox. Anyways, back to Nancy. Miss Nancy Turner, your customer service is awesome. And I will just tout your name everywhere. And um, thank you. You are a lovely, lovely lady. And your shop and your items, your products, your samplers, your floss, gorgeous. Gorgeous. And um, seriously, wow. Wow. So anyway, um, and, and it's the same with Lucas from Fabrics by LJ. If I send a message, I get one right back. Um, if something's not right, I know he'll make it right. He, I just can't say enough. And so I support and will tell people about businesses like that because I feel that they are invested in their businesses and want to do good things and I want good things for them. And, um, and also, you know, it all, it benefits everybody, right? So you give good customer service. I'm happy. Your people are going to hear about that. More customers will flock to you and, um, and it's just good all the way around, right? So small soapbox. All right. So, um, because it's my birthday month, and like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I was going to do, you know, 12 days of Mira. Which didn't happen. Heck, I haven't even done 12 days of, well, it's not 12 days, it's only 5 days in. But I haven't even done 5 days of stitching. So, I'm going to do some today though. Yay! Hopefully, hopefully. Um, so, my birthday plans got shot to, you know... But there's Mira to look for. Mira. Pfft. No. Mm -mm. Stitch Mania to look forward to. And I heard about Stitch Mania last year but didn't join in because I wasn't part of the Floss Tube community and I was just kind of stalking Facebook at the time in the stitching community and wasn't really posting anything, wasn't really doing anything. And, um, and, so, uh, I lost my train of thought. Anyways, uh, I'd heard about it last year. And, um, so this is going to actually be my first year doing it. Doing Stitch Mania. And I guess there's a lot, you know, everybody has different variations on how they do Stitch Mania. Some do, it's the first 18 days of, of May. And um, a project a day. Some do it for the whole month. Some do, you know, like just whatever you you decide that is is the way that you want to handle Stitch Mania. And so I've been kind of thinking about how I want to handle Stitch Mania this year. And um, I I have a lot of stash. Clearly, I have a lot of stash, <laughs> and have been faithfully buying, binge buying, for quite some time. And unfortunately that's going to have to come to a halt because I did my taxes a couple of weekends ago and got a little bit of a shock on how much I have to pay to the IRS. Uh, I knew I was going to have to pay because I did last year, and um, but it's more than it was last year by a lot and so um so that's gonna cut into my stitchy budget because apparently children have to be fed so yeah and then I got my water bill the other day like two days ago and I looked at it and saw the amount freaked out because it's never been that high and then I had a closer inspection on my water bill and it does like a year in review of, you know, what water usage you've used. And in the last four months, I have almost triple my usage. So that indicates that there's probably a leak, a pipe break somewhere. And, um, which of course is, <clears throat> knowing all the things that have happened at this house in the last year is on my property, which I'm responsible for. So, um, that could be kind of an expensive little, 
little thing that is going to happen and um, I'm going to have a sad little sob over that later once I find out from the water company whether it's actually their meter or if it's truly a crack and we're going to have to probably dig up quite a bit of the property to find it. So, um, so that also will cut into my stitchy spendy stuff and so I'm, I'm going to be on broke broke girl budget. I actually call it BBB for broke bitch budget, but yeah. So, but that's okay because I have a lot of stuff. I do. I have so much stuff. And so, um, and again, my children keep telling me that they need food. So, I mean, they are more important, right? And the dogs. Yeah whatevs anyway so um okay so back to my plans that got railroaded a little far um so because I buy a lot of things I have a bunch of bags that I bought when Letitia the crafty curator did a video and I she was one of the first floss tubes I ever watched and um she was showing like kind of how she was doing her project bags before the beautiful fabric project bags were coming along. And so I was like, ooh, that's a great idea. I have all of these mirrors and some Liz Cates and some other, you know, these these project the design works and and other um cross stitching kits that I have as well as some magazines and yada yada yada. Anyways, how great to put a project per bag. So I went uh, based on her recommendation and bought some of these bags. And so I bought these ones, which are just, I mean, they're just, they're plastic zippered, you know, nothing, nothing special, but I think I got like 12 of them for $10. I think and you know it holds my floss it holds the pattern it holds a smaller Q snap this is not super big and then um, I bought uh, a set of these and I think maybe there was 12 of these as well and again they're just zippered at, up at the top nothing special nothing special but it holds you know all of the flosses and my pattern and my cloth my uh, fabric and this one is um, this one's more of like a canvas cloth type bag. Um, I will warn you though, I don't know where they come from, probably China. And they have a very, very, very strong odor to them, at least mine did. And so they sat in the garage for a really long time um, to get rid of the smell. They were horrible. Um, and kind of made me nauseous a little bit. And I was like, oh, I don't think I want to stick my projects in there. If they're going to smell, they don't smell anymore. They're totally fine. Um, I don't, there's no odor at all. But I did leave them in my garage for probably two weeks. So, laid them all out. Um, and, uh, so anyways, I have those project bags. And I, so I think, I think I have 24. Well, really 22 because two are in use. Um, so I'm going to stitch mania those 22 bags I'm going to kit up. I mean, I'm going to put in my already kitted um, kits, uh, projects, in those bags. So that's 22. And then, un momento, um, after I, after Letitia showed those bags, then she found Jan Stitching Necessities, uh, who you send her fabric and she will make you project bags and she'll make you project bags to your or there's different sizes so if you want ones that hold an 8 by 8 q-snap or a 11 by 17 q-snap or 12 by 12 whatever um she'll make that she, uh, she's even made and i've seen recently she's made some for the big roll bars too so um Jan's awesome, and she makes beautiful stuff. So after Letitia had had um, shown those bags, I emailed Jan and went, "Ooh, I would like some fabric bags too, please." And um, so I sent her a bunch of fabric, and I know I showed this one before. Um, this is one of my Seahawks fabric bags. She does uh, truly a beautiful job, and I know other people have been like Mama Joan bags. I don't have a Mama Joan bag. 
Now I can't buy a mom and tone bag because I'm on a broke bitch budget. And I'm sad about that. But it's okay because maybe one day when I'm... Maybe I'll get good news and, and it won't be so bad after I pay my taxes. We'll see. But anyways, in the meantime, I have gorgeous Jan Stitch and Necessity bags that I'm happy. And so uh, she made me, I don't remember how many bags, four maybe? And so this one's obviously in use. And so I have those three. So that is 25 projects. 25. So I am going to do 25 projects for Stitch Mania. I just sweated a little. 